Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. All right, so we are about to take, to take on another mission on this planet. We just moved systems in order to get things repaired, and we just came in under the financial report. And you'll notice I've dropped 100,000 since the last episode. And what I did is I had a look in the store really quickly before ending the episode. And I found a, let's go to the mech bays real quick here, and to components. They had a few. I didn't want to buy that many because I didn't have a lot of money, but they have a, a f had a few weapon mounts, plus two arm accuracy, plus 10% arc of fire. So I picked up one of these. Um, if we cannot get a, um, a missile boat going on the Centurion, I might put this on for the AC to give us a better chance to hit. But until we're able to get some good cash flow going, we're just going to... Um, not worry about refitting right away. But today what I want to do is I want to take on a contract here. I want to go to, um, I think we're going to do aggressive negotiations. No, that's only two of nine. Incomplete intelligence here. Destroy base. We're going to do this. So um, pirates are hiding uh, uh, restricted muni munitions in a series of warehouses where we're going to go in and blow them up. So let's go do this one. And we're going to go for a maximum salvage because it still gives us some good cash here. We should be able to pull off, you know, 20 or 15,000 uh, sea bills in the green after this mission's over to be able to uh, pass our financial report. If not, we can sell some stuff, but I think we'll be fine. So let's accept this. It's a one skull mission. And we're going to have to uh, put our new pilot in recoil. He is a pirate, or he was a pirate. But we're going to drop him in right now because Hickory was uh, out for 20 days as of the last... Uh, um, mission. So let's deploy and get this thing done. Alright, here we go. Okay, four mechs on the ground. So with this version of Rogue Tech, compared to the last one, at one skull usually you get one Lance of mechs and some turrets before base destruction, uh, but I've been getting um, two Lances and turrets. So a main lance and then a, re and then a uh, reinforce reinforcement lance. So we're going to pay particular attention to that because if they do come in, they're going to come in here on our left flank. They normally get dropped down over here. Um, so we have to keep our eyes out for that. Yes, Commander. All right, let's get Behemoth back here. Confirmed. It's nice having this generous support mech. I'm kind of iffy about... Commander putting the, uh, making the, uh, Centurion the support mech. Only because a 50-ton platform with more armor might be better use up front. But I'd like to be able to, to boat all three of those, uh, Thunderbolts. I mean, I guess the other option is to just put one, the Thunderbolt 15 in the Centurion and remove the uh, auto cannon and put other units, other, uh, weapons in, like maybe some LRMs or something. Not 100% sure yet. So, let's reserve, see what they do. Reserve an action. They're going to reserve, but we're going to reserve too. I want to get past the turrets. So we're down to turn two, which is fine. Uh, the reason why I want to get past the turrets is I don't want them shooting me from long range, obviously. So let's move in and see what we're up against. Yeah, man, all I want you to do is shoot this guy. Cattlemaster, another one, beautiful. And they've got full armor. So I don't think we're going to be encountering... A well, probably not. We're probably not going to be encountering a um, secondary lance, so we want to draw these guys out. We don't want to move in too far. So, Behemoth, let's just walk up. I'm going to put you in the trees here. I'm going to put that girl in the trees. All right, let's hit this guy. Boom, boom. These thunderbolts, man, loving them. I never really liked them all that much before. I'm not sure if because they added the plus one accuracy, with them being this accurate, it's it, it's totally worth using them. I know they're in the arms too, in the uh, in the Jenner, which really helps. But uh, still, so let's let's use everything because we're going to be in the water in a minute. And the other thing is, we want to use this hill here, in the center, to try and block any direct line of fire from these turrets at the front here. Which is kind of why I'm on this side.
Okay. Let's just walk Cold Metal up. We don't need to run with this guy. We're at a good distance. We're going to try and finish up this Cattle Master. Well, there goes the right torso. He is not having a good day. Oh, I got to go first too, eh? What's this guy got left? Not a whole lot. So, he's got no weapons left. So let's change targets. We've got the Cicada over here with the two light rifles. And we've got a Locust. And I have no idea. So, um, I'm going to reserve. Let's see what they do here. Oh, he's going to move forward, eh? He's going to be a meat shield. He's brave. Spider. What's this guy got? Okay, he's coming into range. So I think I'll put... Um, he's got two spike wrecking balls. we got to kill that spider before he gets too close. Yes, Commander. Um, I want you to pull back. I don't like that spider. Um, so let's do... He's fortified too, right? I wonder if we should just shoot this guy. He's got lots of evasion. Hmm. Better chances to hit, though. So let's fire on him. Ah, crap. Was hoping for a quick kill, but didn't happen. So they are going to push us. Okay, I'm going to run with Behemoth next. They don't have anybody left that can shoot, so she's just going to stand still. We're going to fire on this guy. See if we can get a bit of instability on him. There's one, two hits. A little bit of instability, but not much. And uh, let's get Pylon back here. Uh, if anything, let's please be in the trees. Don't think the spider's got enough speed through the water to get to him. So we're going to fire everything. Wow. That's bad. All right, Recall, you're up. What's up, Commander? What's up, Commander? I want you to shoot this guy. Location confirmed. Right here. Alright, hit with one medium. That's fine. He's got very low stability. Time to earn our money. So there is an auto cannon 2 turret, my guess. Okay. So, Behemoth again. I'm going to move you back here. And we're going to shoot the same guy again. I, oh, well, shoot. I was going to say I should have probably had someone do a uh, offensive push. Oh, we can still. Excellent. Recoil. Yes, Commander. Let's get you in the water over here, buddy. Going to keep it at a distance, but I want you to do an offensive push on the spider to get him back one turn. And let's try for a leg shot, please and thank you. Or just hitting him with anything was good, too. Oh, we knocked him down. Excellent. So now we all go before him. He's going to go out like a wrecking ball. Alright, here comes the melee from the dagger. Or the, sorry, the locust. Whenever I see a locust now, I just assume it's a dagger. Okay, so, cold metal. Let's move down. We can move forward a little bit now, I think. Not so worried about these guys. Can target everybody from here. Meh. Let's remove this guy. Let's go for. Is he an XL engine? I don't think so. Just. Oh, he does. Wow. Patchwork materials. An engine. And spike. Let's go for the torso. Let's go here. I want to make sure I got that torso. That looks sluggish to me. There we go. How can you miss? Oh my god, no! How can you miss with so much? Leg spiked boots destroyed? I guess he was going out for a night in the town. That guy's doing a bit of moonwalking. Alright, Pylon. It's up to you, buddy. Now you're in the water, you can fire everything. 
So let's go after the same torso again. Fire everything. Just hit with something, please. Okay, there's the torso. Good. We can salvage that. Yeah, we can. Yep. Yeah. Out cannon twos. Probably an ultra turret. That's fine. All right, Behemoth. Uh, let's move over here. And let's suit the cicada. I know I call it. It's, I know it's a cicada. I call it a cicada because a friend of mine used to call that when we call it that when we were kids. We both had uh, problems pronouncing words when we were younger. I still do, and I'm sure he still does too. Although he's a teacher now, but uh, he used to call it a cicada. Not sure where we got the ch from, but uh, that's okay. All right, we're gonna move over here. We're gonna fire on this guy. Let's get rid of him. Don't want anybody headbutting us anymore. Left torso gone. Pilot injured. Is he gonna fall over? Ah, oh, he's gonna bail out. Good. All right, let's see what the locust does. Panicking. No, flanking. Ah, that's a smart move. I'll give it to you. All right. Can we get direct fire on this guy? Yeah, but I have to turn my back. So what if we just do this? Let's do this. Did that hit? No, that missed. Okay. Okay, two misses. And we are going to get Mr. Pylon to come back here and rescue or attempt to rescue Behemoth and it looks like we're really overheating still even though we're in the water so we're gonna fire two medium lasers Affirmative. oh one hit nice I'm actually quite pleased with the targeting that, that we've been doing lately we've been hitting more percentages of uh, low percentage shots there's a couple of AC turrets there. Okay, Behemoth. Good to go. Let's get down here. I'm gonna turn our side so you can't shoot us in the back. Let's unload on the cicada. All are go. Come on, give me a leg hit. Ooh, that looked like a leg hit. That looked like a leg hit too. Nice. It's almost just a shame to have to get rid of Behemoth, but uh Those are the rules I play by, unfortunately. Hopefully whoever takes over does just as good a job. Alrighty. Okay, recoil. Commander. Recoil, recoil, recoil. Shoot this guy in the back. Fire everything. Shooting in the, in the back means actually hitting. Just saying. Can we hit this guy? We can. Question is with how much. Okay, we can fire everything. Why would that... Maybe I don't know. Whatever. Let's go for... If we're going to go for salvage... we got light rifles. There's no point. I mean... Really? Let's go for the other leg. Why not? See if we can take that leg off and end this quick. We did pen there somewhere. Where did we pen? Torso. Huh. It's not really a penetration. Maybe it was a, a chance for a crit. Alright, let's move up. And we're going to turn like this. I see you, Mr. Turret. And let's go for the torso. We might as well since it's already been hit. Okay, there goes the torso. Pilot's injured again. Engine destroyed. Excellent. He didn't have an XL engine, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Commander. All right, let's move back here. On the move. And let's see if we can do a repeat of what we did last game. In, yes. Hope we can that. You want to play the back game with us, you're going to lose. Yeah, you can do this, man. Let's get up here. 
All right, we're just going to get up behind the wall here first. Ready for orders. All right, let's finish this up and go home. So turrets are generally relatively easy. The only time you really have trouble with turrets is if they've got sensor lock and they're really good at it. Like uh, two turrets with LRMs and uh, two turrets with sensor lock can be a real problem for you. Yeah, let's get up here. Alright, we're just going to move up behind the wall here. We're all going to go in together. I want to put down the ma maximum amount of fire on these turrets every turn. Alright. So, Behemoth's got range, so let's move recoil first. We're going to sprint up over here. Understood. And let's see if we can take this turret out. So it's got 130 total, VSPL binary laser. Let's fire everything. Nice hits. That's like four hits, man. Okay, Behemoth, let's sprint it up over here. And we've got the range on that turret, so we should have no problem hitting it. 292% chance hits. Here it comes, folks. And there it is, folks. So that turret's gone. That turret is gone. Alright, we're sprinting up and gonna move into here. I copy. Not sure it's the best move right now, but we are gonna do that. I don't know if they have a better chance to see us. We can start taking these building downs as we move in. We will, Darius, don't worry. Alright, coming around. Doesn't look like they can target us. Gonna fire on this building, might as well. Oh, not quite enough. No damage detected. Okay, so recoil. Let's get in here. No problem. And we can see this guy here. So we're going to fire on this turret. Oh, you want some of this? It's 180. We have to really push this turret and take it down. So Behemoth should be able to take half of it. Yeah, 96% chance. So she should be able to hit with both. Doing 90 damage. One. Oh, that was a miss. <gasps> no. You got recoil hit. I wouldn't have been, wouldn't have mattered. He would have been able to fire anyway. Uh, yeah. Let's go here. Just gonna walk it so we have a better chance to hit. Let's fire the AC and the LRMs. Oh my God. Where does that AC go? All right, let's move into here. On the move. And let's use the medium lasers. Fire everything. Roger. Not quite enough, I don't think. Oh, we got it. Okay, good. One less turret. I'm almost out of LRM rounds here. All right, we're gonna reserve. See if we can get past the turrets. Okay, that's gonna give us a couple turns. So we're going to move recoil forward, and we want to spot both turrets, I think, to find out which one is the more valuable target. I think both of these guys are AC turrets. Ultra AC2s. Yeah, Ultra AC2s. So they're both just as valuable. So let's fire on this one, because I don't think Behemoth will be able to target this one right away. So let's hopefully, hopefully we hit with everything here. Oh, come on. Wow. You're killing me here, buddy. You're killing me. Got it. All right, everything on this guy. Just put the small laser in too. Firing all weapons. Come on, guys. You can't miss. Okay, we got it. Okay, good. Turret destroyed. All right, Behemoth should be able to target the other one. Can we get over there enough to target it? Do the direct line of sight. Anybody? Anybody? Anywhere? Anywhere? No, it's got to be indirect. Damn it. So if it's going to be indirect, let's just walk. Love a couple of them over here. Fifty-six percent chance. Not bad. Two misses. Damn. Okay, we gotta get cold metal up here as fast as possible. Let's get up in the woods here, just in case we get decide to get targeted. I'm gonna fire everything on this guy. Last LRMs. 
Okay, we almost did max damage, but not quite enough. Yep, I know. Alright, Recoil, let's finish this up. Let's go right here. And we'll target this guy with everything. Should be enough. There he goes. Nice. Alright, let's destroy these buildings and go home, people. Alright, let's see what we got left here in places. So this guy's got 19 left. This building is 150. This one is 150. So let's move Behemoth up. And we'll fire on the distant building. They're both 99% chance to hit. For 90 damage. One. Two. And then what we'll do... Negative. Damage. Repeat. Neg negative. Uh, you're just being negative. So A, B, C. We're going to go A, B, and C this way. So that's enough for that building. Should be able to apply 25 to this guy. No, not unless we miss, of course. And we should be able to take this building down. There we go. And then hopefully the Phoenix Hawk can finish this up and we can get out of here. I love how they make this building look like it's got some kind of evil snake face to it. Alright, you don't even need to move. We're just going to fire on this building. There it is, folks. Oh, how much is left? Ten? That's a miss. Or five? Like five points or something? Really? Five points? All right. <laughs> okay, recoil. It's all yours. Finish her up, buddy. Oh, we're leaving from right here, Sir Mary. Nice work. Alright, here we go. So, bonus of 35%. 169,000. Excellent. Took a little bit of damage, but not a whole lot, which was good. Uh, no components at all damaged. Which is excellent. I hate when we get components damaged. Alright, let's take some Calamaster parts. No, maybe not. Uh, I don't like the spiders. Okay, so... Uh, spiked Wrecking Ball. This is interesting. Damage 45. 10 heat. Why does it do 10 heat? Able to fire during melee combat. Damage can vary between plus and minus 15. 50% chance to deal a critical hit with this weapon. Why is it 10? I guess maybe to swing it? I don't know. Oh, endo steel. Nice. Ultralight gyro. All right. We are getting some good stuff finally. Leg spiked boots. Patchwork materials. Spiked helmet. Now we do need... Ooh, spiked fist too. We do need more helmets. Heavy Pharaoh. Yeah, see, you know, minus 20 weight percent weight change per point of armor. 15 dynamic slots reserved. 15%. See, I can't, I can't justify taking this wrecking ball. I just can't do it. I mean, I know it's interesting, but it's, I, it's not worth it. Maybe the patchwork materials. I know it's only 0.25, but that's still like 20 points of armor. Hmm. Spiked helmet plus 10% melee damage. We don't really have a melee mech just yet. I think at this point in the game, I think I want that. Hmm. Uh, see, this is 100,000. Not really worth it. I think I'm going to go for patchwork. So this is some pretty good stuff here overall. So we're going to have a, we have to have an episode where we actually build stuff. So it doesn't look like we made a lot, but we sure did. Okay, so we got cattle master parts, three of them. Uh, one, two, one cicada part. One, two, three, four, five spider parts. Light rifle, machine gun, wrecking ball. We got it. Excellent. Okay, well, that worked out. And a heat sink. So not bad. Actually 14 million in, in parts, so that's that's great. Alright, so seven thousand in repairs, which is nothing. And even better, the time it takes to repair is like nothing. So we got a little bit of damage on each of the mechs, but not not a whole lot. We still have to go past the um, financial report, which is fine. We'll still have some cash left over. But this is gonna give us an opportunity to refit some of our mechs, I think. Hickory's out of action for nine days left. 
So, yeah, I think we'll be able to refit some of these guys. I think that's what we'll do next episode. Um, we can play around with some builds. Now that we got the some Pharaoh and Endo Steel, we can add a bit more things, I think, to the mech. I think maybe we'll have a look at the Centurion and see if we can, can make that uh, the triple system of um, um, Thunderbolt Missile Launchers. So, yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do. So I'm going to quickly, here before we end the episode, I'm going to go into the bays. Because what I want to do is get rid of the parts that we don't want. So we got five spider parts, cattle master parts. Jesus, man, we've almost got a whole cattle master here. That's crazy. I wonder if we should just hold on to all this stuff and see if we can make a mech out of it. Like we got six spider parts. Well, we don't really need the wasp parts. Like, 20 ton mechs, we're not really going to end up using them. Right? Even the 25 cattle master, we're not going to really use. So let's trash these guys. And we'll scrap these, because we're going to need money to build our mechs with. So we'll scrap anything 20 or 25 tons. Um, yeah, that's what we'll do. And we should get a couple of 100,000 for this. That should give us enough. Some more Cattle Master parts here. This should give us enough to be able to work with once we get past our financial report. I know I say I don't like spiders, but we've almost we got six spider parts, so there's, we might as well just hang on to it. Let's scrap this. And the Panther 8Z part we're going to scrap because it's an 8Z. It's not really the best one to use anyway, so we're going to scrap that. We've only got one, so that's 32,000. And we do have anything in the mediums. We've got a cicada part, uh, which we'll hang on to. It, it is a 40 ton mech. Um, and we have, of course, the three catapult parts, no salt parts. All right, so that's not bad. We've got 596,000 right now, of which we're going to lose 200,000. So we've got about 400,000 to work with. So let's just quickly get ourselves to the position. And we're going to leave it like this. And we'll get ourselves to the position where we have our mechs back. Up that job you asked for, Excellent, thank you. Um, let's put an end to this because we do not want people taking odds on who's going to die first. Morale's decreased by one and Hickory's got low spirits, but that's fine. She's out anyways. She probably needed something to do, which is <laughs> when she's being out of action, she's like right nods down at how quickly um, Recoil is going to get killed probably. Um, or how long it's, it is before I fire Behemoth. So we got that done. Um, when we come back next time, we will spend probably, I don't know if we'll spend a whole episode getting our Lance refitted. Um, we'll see about getting the Centurion into Missile Boat status, I think. Uh, the Jenner will probably be another um, fast uh, either Missile Carrier or Laser Carrier. Uh, it's got four Laser Points and four Missile Points, so... It's got plenty of stuff we can load out. Phoenix Hawk's probably going to stay the same. Uh, we're not going to pull that small laser out of the center because, you know, we need to keep it there so we have an extra uh, extra laser point. Um, and I think the Firefly is probably running perfectly. Uh, it's pretty much heat neutral, and it's able to put a lot of firepower down on, on enemies. And it's fast, so that's good. So, But it's just going to be the Centurion, I think, in the Jenner that will refit to see what we can get done with these. These Thunderbolts are what? These are like... Yeah, six tons each. And then I think the uh, Thunderbolt 15 is uh, nine tons. So that's 21 tons. We'll have to figure out how we're going to wedge that into the Centurion. But until next time, you know, if you like the video, please drop a like. And feel free to subscribe. Also, I'm um, open to all kinds of comments. So please drop some comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you later.